Hey guys, welcome to another Pixlr tutorial. Today we're going to do something very simple and very basic. And I've done this already in some of my other tutorials, but I just wanted to make sure that everyone knew how to do this. Uh, today we're going to be working on two simple tools, I think. Uh, the crop tool and the resize tool. Uh, just so that whenever you take pictures with your digital camera and you'd like to be able to edit them really easily um, you can just go into Pixlr and do it yourself so let's get started with that um, so here I have an image uh, of a young girl who has two puppies with her and it's a really nice image uh, you can even see the short depth of field effect in the image too um, but uh, I just want to make sure that I give credit to where I got the images from I pulled this image from stockvault.net. Uh, the photographer was Prakash Hotvain. Hotvain. I'm not sure. I'm sure I'm not saying that completely correct, but uh, you can visit this website, and I'll put a link uh, on my YouTube page for you guys to visit this, uh, find this image. So going back to the image, uh, first I always tell you guys to notice that uh, down here in the bottom left it mentions the resolution, and the resolution is fairly large. So if you wanted to put this into, like, let's say, a website or a Word document, you kind of want a smaller size. So go to Image, Image Size, and you can change the width to, let's say, uh, 1200, and, clip, and keep constrained proportions, and you click OK. Uh, now the image is still fairly large, and we're going to change the zoom down here in the bottom left, change that to 100, meaning that's the full size of the image. I'm even going to cut it down just a little bit so I can actually work with it on my screen. Okay, now the next thing is, uh, how about just resizing it in general? Um, if you use, if you go to Edit, Free Transform, or hit Control T, you get these uh, this box around your image, and this will let you uh, resize it to how you want it uh, visually, instead of changing the resolution, going through image and image size. So in this case, I'm going to hold. Uh, I'm going to just grab on one end and I'm going to change the image. And as you can see, you can sort of resize the image however you want. Um, but the problem is you, you don't want to squ squish up the image in such a way that it loses the original aspect ratio because um, now you're just making the image look really bad. But maybe that's the effect that you want to do, but it's possible. Um, so since I don't want it to be warped and, and, and making it look like this, I'm just going to undo it and, and make it come back to the original size. Uh, the next thing I want to show you is how uh, the crop tool sort of works. And the crop tool is really another, it's like a selection tool. You're trying to select a pr certain portion uh, from the image. And let's say you want to isolate the little puppy, right? And if you go to, you can even move these boxes around. There's also some options too, there as well. Uh, but let's say for now we want to crop the dog out. And if you click away and you click yes, it'll isolate the image of the puppy. And that's what you get. Now I'm going to jump back to the original image. I'm going to reduce the view size to about 50. And this time I'm just going to take the crop tool and I'm just going to crop the dog, the little dog out. And then I'm going to click away and click yes. And now you have the image of the dog in uh, the best resolution that you want. Uh, so if there's something in the image that you want to isolate, definitely use the crop tool. Uh, it's a great way to just take a certain chunk or portion of the image. Now that pretty much sums up the rest of the, of the tutorial. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure to check out my other videos and subscribe.